Oh, hey everyone, Stephen from futurelooks.com and we're continuing our CES 2013 coverage today by looking for more stuff for people who like computers. We're going to be checking out some stuff from Cooler Master. One of the products here uh, that Jonathan is going to take us through is showing off a more elegant side of Cooler Master. What's this product all about here, Jonathan? Well, this is the ATCS 710. And what you're looking at is a return to more of the classic lines of Cooler Master's past. After 20 years, uh, we've came back, we took a look at the aluminum chassis market, and we wanted to offer a totally new, but also retro feeling chassis. What we've done is we kept the same construction values of the original ATCS, the same very thick aluminum construction, but we've added new features, including extreme water cooling support up there, that's an Iceberg 240L. And on the inside, we have fully modular hard drive base. And on the very front, to make it easier to clean, we actually have removable dust filters that pop out just like so. Now what about the pricing and availability of this new chassis? Well, this new chassis, we don't have exact dates, but we can say that it'll be available sometime in quarter three, quarter four. And the pricing right now, we can't give you any commitments, but we can say that it'll be affordable compared to most of the aluminum chassis on the market in this mid-tower size. Well, that's great, Jonathan. Now we're going to check out something that's a little bit more Cooler Master-ish. They've got an update to a gaming chassis that you all know and love. You're looking at the Scout 2 Advanced Ghost White. And what we've done is we've had a white two-tone rendition of the famous Scout 2. Um, you keep the, the black and the white, um, the black on the interior and the white on the exterior. What we've done is we've upgraded it to uh, having a total of three fans. So we've added two white LED fans to the front, which are 120 millimeter. And on the bottom, we've added a new removable dust filter to make it easy to change and easy to clean. So in summary, this will be available sometime in this quarter probably around February or March, and the MSRP is $109.99. Well, I know that a lot of folks were looking for a white version of this case. We'll get their wish it's coming very soon. Now let's look at a power supply from Cooler Master. So Jonathan, as I understand it, you guys are simplifying the naming convention of your power supplies to help consumers better understand what they're getting. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that initiative? Sure. What we've done is we found out that uh, the names of Silent Pro, Extreme, and Elite, while they're great names, sometimes they don't translate well. So what we're doing is, you can see here, this is the V1000, and it's a 1000 watt, 80 plus gold power supply that's fully modular, and it has a unique new design topology. That being said, we call it a V-Series. Um, it'll be one of our top of the line flagship models for 2013. And uh, the V will be uh, meaning 80 plus gold, and it will also mean fully modular. And of course, this uh, naming convention of uh, simplifying is coming throughout the line. Yes, in fact, we actually have an entry level 80 plus bronze uh, series, which will be called the I-600. Um, this is a 600 watt version. So the number actually signifies the wattage. Well, that's very logical and much easier for consumers to understand. But Cooler Master wouldn't be Cooler Master without coolers. So we're going to check out a, I, I wouldn't say an old favorite, but an update to an old favorite that's going to look pretty hot. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so what we have here is uh, the new version of the V8. V8 is an old friend and it's been around since 2008. But what we've done is we've upgraded the V8 to double 140 millimeter fans. It still has eight heat pipes, but what we've done on the base is we changed the base to a unique Cooler Master technology. What you're looking at is a flat vapor chamber. This ensures very, very even and quick heat transfer to all the eight heat pipes. On the top, these fans will be LED control, and you can see that it continues to have the automotive-inspired engine look heritage. Now, when will fans of the original V8 be able to pick up and upgrade to the new V8? Uh, sometime in quarter two or quarter three, and the pricing right now should be under $100. The CM Storm line is known for gaming peripherals and a few cases. They're also very awesome. Uh, I'm here with Carter, and he's going to show off a couple of new keyboards for us, uh, one of which is actually very unique. What can you tell me about this one? 
Uh, well, this is actually our stealth edition of our beloved Quickfire Rapid, which a lot of people are very familiar with. This is the standard edition Rapid here uh, that actually has the top printed keycaps, the very outlook, the new outlook with the uh, the less logo edition. So we removed some of the logo, stripped it down a little bit. Um, but we wanted to create even more of an elegant look on this particular board, something pretty unique, which is our stealth model. It's the front printed keycaps. So it's going to give it a really unique look. You can actually still see what letters you're, you know, your fingers are positioned on, but it, when you look at the board from the actual uh, top side, you actually see nothing. So it's a really, really unique look. It gives the gaming keyboard itself uh, a professional look, so it doesn't have to be just used in the gaming field. You can actually use this in a professional setting, even be, uh, you know, per se, at a work in a workplace environment. Another feature that we added to it from the original Rapid is you can actually change the repeat rate, uh, toggle through F1 through F4 here, uh, over PS2. So you're going to get the in-key rollover over PS2, plus you can actually toggle the repeat rate itself. Uh, one other feature that you're going to see outside of our normal Rapid is all the casings are going to be black instead of the standard silver that you saw in the original model. So you're going to have an entirely black casing, the front printed keycaps, which give it that elegant style and that look. Um, plus the addition of the repeat rate as well added in. Now, these look really awesome. I love the stealth look. This is the bomb right here. So as far as MSRP availability, when can people actually start buying these? The MSRP is going to actually stay firm with our standard rapid uh, from the $79.99 to the $89.99 price point based upon the actual switch type. And you're going to see these in about one and a half to two months. So basically more options at the same price, which gives people choices. Absolutely. And just like our other Rapids, they're going to be available in the four switch types and potentially one uh, exclusive switch type for us in the U.S., which is the green switch. And speaking of green switch, we're going to have a look at that. We're going to switch over and check that out. Rajiv here is going to help us out. He's going to give us the lowdown on this new switch that's exclusive for Cooler Master, isn't right. that right? So one of the big things about Cooler Master and our mechanical keyboards is that we provide a full range. And why we believe that is that we don't want to pigeonhole our gamers into just one switch type. We want to provide all these different options. And one of my favorites, personally, after using it, is the very rare green switch. And over here is our trigger, which we currently sell. It's a full gaming keyboard with customizable macro keys here, and you'll see right here we have the green switch included. And the unique feature of the green switch is that it has that tactile clicky feel of the blues, which is a staple of mechanical keyboards, but it has a bit more resistance. This is something that you normally find used on the space bars for a lot of mechanical keyboards. We brought it to the full switch line. Uh, once you get a feel for it, you can't go back. I, I just, I, I fell in love with these right from the get-go. So for the green switches, Great, great feel. We do sell this. That's what we're using CES as a kind of a launching point to bring it out to a wider range using Cooler Master's distribution channels. So, you know, definitely users that want to try it out, they should be seeing it very soon. So we'll see this in a number of keyboards as they start rolling out, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And again, going along with the theme of, you know, full customization and, and just fitting the, the part to you, we also have our aluminum series. On our headsets, these plates here can actually be removed with a special tool and you can customize it if you're a gaming team, if you, if you want to represent your crew, that's all being able to done through these uh, you know, removable panels. Also the microphone, if you want a more professional look, DJs that want to use this, uh, you know, videographers, you guys can all take advantage of this stuff and not you know, uh, fit, fit your style, fit your needs. And this is actually our aluminum keyboard. It's very similar to the trigger, but again, as I mentioned, it has that removable plate. So once you remove these off, customize it as you will. It has a USB 3.0 hub in the back. Audio pass-through. Uh, the trigger customizable keys are here as well, and we'll have a fully customizable software, again, to fit the needs and desires of gamers. And to round it out, we also have the mouse and aluminum mouse pad here as well. So this mice, uh, mouse will have the extra fire button here, which you can fully uh, customize. And also this piece as well that can be removable. And again, continue your self-promotion and branding for those gamers that really want to uh, make a name for themselves. I'm just taking a quick break uh, to check out some new products from Rockcat. One of the new products for CES 2013 is this guy here. This is the Ryos keyboard MK Pro. This is their first mechanical keyboard that offers Cherry MX switches. They come in the black, the red, the brown, and the blue. So depending on what your personal preferences are, you can have that 
capability of choosing the right key for your purposes. Uh, a couple of features that I wanted to point out is the fact that it does have USB ports on the side for your mouse or maybe even charging your phone, something like that. Uh, a braided cable for durability. And on the other side here, you'll see that there is a headphone and mic jack on the side. But one of the really cool things about this keyboard is the fact that this has something called per key lighting. Now what that means is that each individual key here has its own light source. So if I press this key, it's not going to light the other ones. If I press this key, you can kind of see that this is one of the uh, neat things that this keyboard can do. Um, so that gives you the ability to kind of do key bindings. So if you have certain key bindings, they will light only those keys up so you know which keys to press. Uh, the other thing that you can also do more commonly, people use the WASD keys and these are normally different colors on other keyboards. This one here, you can just light those up. Uh, then you know where the WASD keys are while keeping all the rest of the keys unlit so that it doesn't bother you in gaming situations. Or if you want to be bothered, you can even invert them too. Uh, the other ne really neat feature of this keyboard is the fact that it's using a new micro dot style uh, finish. This micro dot surface here is fingerprint resistant. Uh, as you can see here, I'm touching it, no problems there, and it keeps clean very easily. Uh, the retail price of this particular keyboard is in the neighborhood of $150. This should be available hopefully by the end of Q1. And now we're going to take you to our next company, which is Kingston Technology. Hi, I'm Annie with Kingsling Technology. Today at our CES booth, we're showing off our newest product. This is the HyperX 10th Anniversary Edition Memory. It comes in this uh, very stylish silver heat spreader, as you can see, with diamond cutting crisscross. And it's the only silver heat spreader uh, color that's available right now on the market. MSRP right now ranges from $25 all the way up to $100, with uh, specs from uh, 8 gigs up to 32 gigs, and speeds reaching up to 2400 megahertz. Hi, I'm Danny from Kingston. I'm here today to talk to you about the HyperX Predator 3.0. It's our new USB 3.0 drive coming in 512 gigabyte and one terabyte. It's got a lot of space on it, um, of course. Um, it has a matte finish case that's retractable to protect the USB connector. Uh, it's a very solid drive. It has a, a, a keychain that we uh, designed to make sure that it was durable enough to handle uh, any kind of uh, keychain moving around, throwing your keys on the ground to make sure that it doesn't fall off because if you lose this thing, you're going to be very upset. The drive is available at Amazon right now in 512. The one terabyte comes out later in Q1. Um, the price for the 512 right now is a little under $900, um, but I would check your local e-tailer or retail because the price will fluctuate. And the next drive I have is the DT Ultimate. 3.0 G3. It's our cousin drive to the uh, Predator. We released this in 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte capacities. It's got the same design. It's a lot smaller and sleeker. It's got a metal casing. It's not matte finished the same way, but it still is a solid drive or the USB connector. We made it retractable. It's got a keychain, uh, the same design as the uh, Predator to make sure that it stays on your keychain and you don't lose it. Price is uh, 32 gigabytes is about uh, about $35, a so 64 gigabyte is un under like 50 bucks. But check your local e-tailer to get the exact pricing. One company that we haven't touched base with in a little while is Zalman, so that's why we're over here. Zalman is showing off a really cool product here that I'm kind of excited about. This is called the CI Cooler, CI Water CPU Cooler. CI stands for Closed Loop Integrated. And they've done something really different to the whole closed loop integrated cooling solutions because everything kind of looks the same out there. What they've done instead of the square radiator is they've employed some of their technology from their radio round fans that you're also familiar with like the CMPS 9000, the copper fans. And this actually uses two uh, loops of copper and also a heat pipe in here that dissipates heat from the pump here. It's a fully enclosed unit with liquid cooling and it dissipates up to 400 watts of uh, capacity which is more than overkill for most applications but that just says that you're ready for overclocking with this device as well too. Uh, if that's not enough cooling capacity you can also mount a fan on the back for a push-pull configuration right here. So you can see the coils again, there's the power connector. It's a very clean design, very elegant looking. Uh, when it's on operating, it glows blue. In fact, it's so impressive that they've actually won the CES Innovation Award for this particular product. Now, what I'm most excited about is, of course, the pricing. It retails for $109.99. 
and they're expecting to put it out by the end of Q1. And now we're going to check in with another really great company, Gigabyte is at CES 2013, and we're going to go check in with Colin over there. It's always great to see you, Stephen. I always enjoy when you come to visit us. We do have fun. Yeah, we do. Um, so this board, actually, we've been selling for a couple of months now. This, we have three boards that are Thunderbolt-related motherboards. We've got dual Thunderbolt ports on board. Um, we're unique in the industry to have that. And that allows us to do things like 4K display. So as you'll see this demo over here, we're actually running a 4K display on a new driver from Intel called their collage driver. Basically, this allows you to use four normal monitors, um, set them up in collage mode, and then um, use a 4K display. Maybe for things like you know, stock trading or medical or even signage, digital signage. Um, the advantage of our solution is that actually you know, our dual Thunderbolt ports, you can output it'll, with a splitter, you can actually split it into two HDMI signals and, and power each of those monitors or signal each of those monitors. Um, so that allows people to not have to use a, a, a graphics card because this is being powered by Intel's integrated graphics with the Core i3 or i5 or i7. Um, so that, you know, that's kind of an advantage because you don't have to pay that extra money for that, that uh, video card and your profile is going to be low as well because you don't have that extra the height issue. And you don't have to pay for the 4K display because they're really yeah. expensive, aren't they? Yeah, very expensive. That's fantastic. Uh, what else can you tell us about that? So, uh, you know, another cool thing about that is actually, you know, for, for this system, Intel is going to be uh, giving us the driver later this month. We're going to implement it into our BIOS, um, and it's going to be automatically enabled for people when they upgrade their BIOS. So they're going to get an extra feature on their motherboard that they've maybe had for a couple months already. So if you want to do this, you can actually do both the collage mode and also the, the, um, the do four monitors in a row as well, depending nice. on how you want to do your setup. So free stuff from Gigabyte in a uh, BIOS slash driver upgrade. Um, low cost 4K because you can use four new monitors that maybe you got at Walmart or Black Friday for $99 each. <laughs> and um, something new that you can do with your board that you didn't think was possible before. That's really cool. Now speaking of different things and new things, uh, Colin's going to show us something different that Gigabyte does with uh, Mini ITX. Okay, so um, we're showing off our new Thin Mini ITX motherboards. This is a new form factor for us. Um, thin Mini ITX means all low profile. This is actually a standard developed by Intel. These, you know, a lot of these specs are um, given to us by Intel in terms of CPU placement and, and slot placement. Um, what this allows us to do is do an all-in-one business market. So we have different chassis available on the market where you can actually build your own all-in-one. Um, this chassis that we have in front of us here is from MyTech. Um, it's a pretty cool chassis. It's uh, touch enabled. Um, so it works with our motherboard. I'm going to flip around this to show you. It's super easy to actually build your own all-in-one. As you can see here, the motherboard slots in. Um, all of these are standard size and, and slot uh, arrangement is all standardized. So no matter what chassis you use, it'll actually work with our motherboard. So this has a back panel, obviously, that covers this. It's two screws. You remove it, and then you can make a lot of changes. You know, add a hard drive if you want. But some of the unique features of this motherboard, we've got so dim uh, memory, so it's low profile. Um, we also have two different power inputs. So you can use a power brick, as well as your traditional power, uh, a small power supply. Um, this does 12 volt and 19 volt, um, so different uh, applications. If you're not in the all-in-one segment, maybe you're interested in doing some embedded space, um, maybe point-of-sale systems or even slot machines downstairs. Um, so this is a very versatile board, a uh, lot of full features on it. It's even got HDMI out. Um, very powerful in a small form factor. And this guy here, this one's using the H77 chipset. So this is H77 uh, TN is what we're calling it, TN for thin. Mm -hmm. And we also have a B75. So this is the, the uh, small business advantage uh, system. So maybe for companies wanting to build easy to manage systems, they can use this to build some all-in-ones. So this is a new segment we're really projecting, you know, this is a, a growth segment for the desktop market this year. So, you know, we're pretty excited about this. A um, lot of cool chassis coming available with touch-enabled uh, monitors. So, 
definitely going to see more things from, from the, the Thin Mini ITX segment this year. Well, I'm really excited that you showed me this because that just gives DIY guys like myself another thing to kind of crack open, upgrade, and really do what I want with. So thank you for showing this to us, Colin. Sure, sure. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed episode two of our continuing CES 2013 coverage with stuff for people who like computers. I'm already working on episode number three and I can't wait to bring that to you really soon. I'm Stephen with Future Looks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon.